Uh, you ever just make a fight sound with your armpit? You ever just beatbox randomly? <laughs> I'm not talking in the shower. I'm just like, you're chilling at home. Just fucking beatbox. You just drop that shit like... It was a child support notice <laughs> right onto the floor. I mean, trash can. I mean, fire pit. I mean, what child support notice? <laughs> no, no, no. You ever just... I don't know, Timmy. You ever... You ever been to a Turkish prison before? You ever seen a grown man naked... We ever take methamphetamines? <laughs> uh, those of you who get that reference, you are of an upper echelon. And those of you who do not are still fucking amazing. But you will ascend after watching Airplane. I mean, it may be your humor, it may not be. My humor is effectively broken. Not just like all of ours, because most of ours is now thanks to memes. But, uh, mm. nah, my humor is either very offensive, very dark, or very fucking stupid. Like the most idiotic shit you've ever fucking seen. That is my humor. Mm. All three of those things. And if it happens to be all three, I will have a sore stomach. My abs will be sore from laughing. Not to say that I have a six pack because I do not, but uh, everybody has abdominal muscles. So there's that. And uh, now you know, because it's Mike's super short show. Yeah. <laughs> Talk about an obscure nostalgia trip, am I right? I am right. Thank you for agreeing. I appreciate that greatly. Your compliance is met with gratitude. Yeah. Hey, you want to know something else? Being tired allows you to have the most ADHD-riddled fucking thoughts. And I can say this because I have ADHD, so it's not offensive. <laughs> On the fucking planet. <laughs> you thought it was hard to focus before. <laughs> Try exhaustion. <laughs> Ah, oh, no, I'm all right. It's just a regular tiredness this time, surprisingly. So there's no need to worry or be concerned that I'm not getting any rest. Because I am. I am indeed. So something that you should be doing, person. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, trying to throw stones in a glass house. But watch your ass, I'll come and get ya. Swiggity swooly, I'm coming for that booty. And it ain't to eat it, because I do not have that on my menu. No. You nasty. <laughs> Man, I tell you what, doing, uh, <laughs> doing uh, Henry Cavill, uh, doing his voice, you know, hi, hello, how are you? Pleasure to meet you. That's <laughs> smashing. <laughs> it's, uh, it's all fine and dandy. But uh, I found out that my upper limit for consecutive uh, Cavill voice play? Because it's kind of like wearing a costume but for my voice. Uh, the upper limit of me being able to do that before it hurts... I found out it is 50 minutes. Yes. I did not expect for <laughs> that chapter to be as long as it was. Good book. Good book. I um, don't know where it's from, but I'm going to be asking uh, later what uh, what book it was from. Um, because, fuck, that that was so fuck. That was, that was so interesting to me. That was so cool. It's, uh, it's one of those high fantasy... Uh, books. I believe the chapter was chapter 54, so it's a thick bitch. Or at least to me, because I'm, I'm not really a, much of a reader. But, shit, man. After reading even just that one chapter, <laughs> I'm, I'm considering becoming a reader. More than just 
to voice act and to narrate, because motherfuck. <laughs> <laughs> what the what the main character was saying the, the 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 subtleties the little nuances the changes and the tone and the room were all very detailed very highlighted and fucking damn i loved it i loved it and like i said high fantasy as well uh i i don't know what kind of very creature or not very, but Fey, or I don't know what it's called, you know, mythical creatures. I don't know what exactly he was. I want to say maybe a fairy or something akin to an angel, but there was no mention of feathers. But he did have wings for certain, so there's only a few things it could be. Uh, many variants within, but a few archetypes. Um, but no, it was, it was fucking good. Ah, right, man. <laughs> Oh, jeez. If I remember, and I don't get swamped uh, with stuff to do, I might add it to the description of what book it was. If you're into high fantasy and very good writing. Um, <laughs> and uh, Tourette's, which is... I hope you are, or at least you don't care, because I have that. Um, I don't know, I feel, I feel like you guys knew that already. You probably did, still. Um... No, I, I, I had fun with that, though. It was, like I said, my upper limit's like 50 minutes doing Henry Cavill straight for that long. Oh, uh, my God. Oh. Mm. No, still sore. Still sore. <laughs> uh, it was fun, though. It was good. I enjoyed that read. But at the risk of repeating myself any further, I'm going on to a different subject. One of which... Uh, <laughs> I, I guess I have a worse cat allergy than I realized. <laughs> because if uh, I, I, I pet uh, when I was a cat that she's got out here, like the big, the, the muscle, that fucking buff motherfucker, <laughs> that orange one from one of my uh, posts in the past, uh, somewhat recent, but you'd have to scroll. That big arm motherfucker. I love animals, but we got woods out here, and I think, honestly, that's the only reason why I have this weird shit with my fucking left, it's only the left eye, too, it's only the fucking left eye, every now and then, if I, if I rub it a little bit, or like too much, especially the fucking tear duct, especially the tear duct, it'll seem like it's fine, and then in the middle of the night, it will wake me up being like, hey, bitch! I don't feel good. I'm uncomfortable. And you're gonna be too. Fuck you in your sleep. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I don't know. And and it only started when, you know, I was really, like, patting him and, and uh, spent a little bit more time outside and shit like that. So I think that's what it was. But, I mean, look, <laughs> I know you're gonna say, well, just don't fucking pet the cat. <laughs> Dude, look. I love animals, okay? I see something furry. I'm gonna touch it. <laughs> I just... Alright? Like, you know, there's something... Like, like people who are lactose intolerant, but they love cheese, you know? <laughs> You're alive. Live. <laughs> you know, to hell with the minor consequences. You know, it's a decent amount of time where I don't get as much sleep as I want anyway, so I might as well have had a little mini highlight of getting to pet a cat. A very muscular one at that. Alright, so just quiet. Quiet, you. <laughs> I love animals. I always have and I always will. But I do have Visine for clear eyes. Ah, I got the red eye one. And that helps very, very good. That helps very well. Um, I've used maybe a third or a fourth of it. Uh, cause I've been more conscious about not rubbing my eyes until after I wash my hand or rubbing my eyes at all. I can rub the right one like a motherfucker. <laughs> I, I can rub my fucking right eye like it was a clitoris and I was furiously fucking masturbating, okay? Like, I, I can rub the fuck out of my right eye. I left. No. <laughs> like, anywhere that's not the tear duct... I can sort of do it a little bit, but if I fucking rub that tear duct, I might as well just go ahead and be proactive and grab that fucking visine and put two in my left eye. 
<laughs> I mean, I, unless there's something stuck in there, but if there was something stuck, I mean, it'd be hurting every day. It wouldn't have just all of a sudden, like, in the middle of the night if it got there earlier in the day. So I don't, I don't know. I, I honestly don't know. Maybe... <sighs> Maybe, maybe I wore it out a bit because I do remember all of that. Like I do remember before all of that. I uh, uh, what do you call it? Um, I was rubbing my left eye more than my right, and I was uh, what do you call it? Because I have tics. Uh, sometimes I will rub uh, my knuckles in a certain way. Uh, not just like a fucking lamp, but it's it's hard to explain, so I'm not going to bother. Uh, but sometimes I will. And I'll do it enough to where the skin gets like a little rough uh, for a while. And I was like knuckling my eye, rubbing it uh, again. Silence. <laughs> and yeah, I did that more with my left eye because it was on my left knuckle. So I very well could have over irritated it and it's just pissed off at me now because now it's just always ready to be sensitive because now since i am mildly allergic to cats now that it had entered that super sensitive state it may be staying in there because i'm still petting the cats and even though it's not bothering me every single night unless i fuck with it physically that's what i'm thinking maybe happened my eyes were fine. I got him to that state. Uh, and as it was trying to calm down and go back to its normal state, it is now kept there. You know, like, when, once it breached the threshold, now it's a lot easier to uh, make it hypersensitive because of my cat allergy. More than likely, it's just that, because there's no pain. There's nothing else. So, <laughs> yeah. More information than you ever needed to know about a man's eye who does funny voices for a living. I apologize. <laughs> uh, but hey, I did find my rather large, I think it's like seven and a half to eight inch uh, knife, a fixed knife. Uh, it's all black. It's very nice, actually. I enjoy it. But uh, it's, it was one of those knives I got uh, years ago. I, I don't remember if it was a gift or I got it from a flea market or whatever. It's, it's marked Survivor Knife. And it feels... Ah, yeah, it feels <laughs> too light to me. I, uh... I haven't tried to use it to cut anything other than, uh... <clears throat> ties with people that I don't want to associate with anymore. <laughs> uh, boxes and, you know pesky packages and shit like that but I, it feels so fucking light and kind of flimsy to me i just i just i don't want to <laughs> i don't want to test it i i have other better knives folding and fixed both but i just like how it looks you know <laughs> you can't tell i like black black tv black series xbox black punching black <laughs> uh my, re like, reddish shoes, though? Red yeah, I, look, they were comfortable, okay? They're old as fuck, and they still kind of... Instead of, like, feeling like walking on clouds like they began, it feels like I'm walking on cotton balls, okay? So, a downgrade, but still higher than the normal cheap shoe that you would get. So, I can't complain. <laughs> uh, black AK, black barrels on the fucking t twin gauge that I got, which is what I call it. Uh, Double Barrel 10. Uh, black, uh, black mud boots. <laughs> black Mustang. And I'm not goth. <laughs> it's just fucking nice. Okay, shit looks good in black. The, the Corvette that I had. Black. You know? Uh, the jewelry I have on my left hand. Black and gold. Both of them. I just, it's easy. Is an easy color that just looks good on fucking everything. <laughs> like this, the 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 suit that I plan on getting later on is gonna be all black, with a few gold accents. You know, gold uh, lace rings in the shoes, uh, gold uh, cuff buttons, maybe 
gold buttons on the actual blazer, like the coat itself. I don't know if I want that or if I want just gold on the uh, the buttons. <laughs> because I plan on getting like a silk tie or some material that would give the look of like kind of a more realistic metallic gold on the tie. So I think the tie might be enough because if I have the buttons too, it might just be, <laughs> you know, um, aesthetically, as far as things like that and customization go, I'm very fucking picky, but I do really like black and gold or black and purple. So I may keep the buttons black on the blazer and then maybe, maybe have, uh, <laughs> the buttons gold on the vest instead so that way whenever i open it up there you go but again yeah, it may be maybe a little bit too much for me i don't know but i love the thought of how that would look even just the gold you know lace uh uh lace holes the gold cuff buttons and uh the gold tie even if it was just that with everything else black because i do have the ring and the watch so you know I don't know, but uh, that's, that is the very next suit that I'm going to get. I just have to find a good place around here that has what I'm looking for. Because I need it, I need it to be thin. <laughs> because I do not sweat uh, as much as I should. I do still sweat, but it's not as much as I need to. Uh, so I get hot easier. And... I absolutely need to have a suit, like the whole setup that is thin, or even if possible, <laughs> one that has that uh, breathe, you know, like, like, like close it breathe technology, whatever the hell that's called. Um, but of course, especially made stuff is always going to cost more. So uh, I might just opt in for super thin material, whatever they have. So yeah. Cause I, I I don't I I don't I don't need a a five or a ten thousand dollar suit set. <laughs> it's I that's a waste of money to me, you know. Like even if I was rich, I I still wouldn't want to throw away that much money on something I'm gonna wear not that much at all. And even if I wore it every day, still it's like, motherfucker, that's a car. <laughs> that's. That's a good used truck or specific kind of car. Like, nah, man. <laughs> like, nah. You know? Like a silk tie, just because, uh, just because of the aesthetic, not for the extravagance. Literally just for the aesthetic. I mean, probably have other stuff that has the same or even a better look. That's a quote-unquote lesser material. So, there's that. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't... I I don't need that stuff. I don't need a, a Rolex on both wrists. You know, I, <laughs> I, I don't need diamonds in my rings or anything like that. I'd rather have a Cobra attack helicopter fully decked out all the armaments. <laughs> <laughs> uh, or many guns many guns uh up underneath the fenders of my mustang that like you know submerge and then re-emerge above it that'd be pretty cool you know if i actually had the uh wheel well space that'd be pretty good actually i i'd, I'd, I'd like that yeah i'd throw away money for something that cool <laughs> uh, yeah. Mm. But yeah. I think that'd be I think that'd be a good look. Mostly black with accents of gold as far as a suit setup. Yeah. Yeah, I'd want that. Definitely. Mm. Also Oh, excuse me, I don't know if you played Metroid Dread. But it is so good, and they had a few extra pins left, and I actually have a uh, uh, Metroid Dread Starter Suit Samus pin <laughs> that is now on the black hat that I love to wear so much. 
the tag you may have seen in my shooting video. <laughs> First time I've ever actually put a pin on any... Well, no. <laughs> actually, uh, the second time I put a pin on something. The other one. Because <laughs> my fucking... Oh, my gosh. My fucking... <laughs> uh, my bestie got me a Borderlands pin. Oh, my gosh. Uh, let's see where... Oh, <laughs> My ass is full of stars. <laughs> oh, I fucking love that pin. Oh, I love it so much. Oh, I actually had it on a uh, top that I was wearing for a while, but I think I'm actually going to take it off of the top, and I'm also going to put it on my hat. <laughs> See, I'm not the kind of person to uh, <laughs> put stickers all over my car, but I... <laughs> uh. Like I said, before that, before that Borderlands pin and before this Metroid pin, I haven't really put it much on anything. Because, you know, <laughs> like I said, I just, I don't style very often. I don't fashion a lot. But fuck, man. <laughs> ah, this is bad. I'm going to get into a new fucking hobby of pen collecting, aren't I? <laughs> I don't need to spend more money. Ah, oh, because I got... <laughs> I got into Magic the Gathering, and y'all... <laughs> y'all saw some of the fucking crazy shit I got. <laughs> y'all saw some of the fucking crazy shit I got, okay? So if I get into pins, and as cheap as they are... Oh, gosh. I'm gonna end up having fucking five Home Depot buckets full of just fucking pin badges. Oh, boy. I've already got... Two. Well, not actually... Not literally two buckets from Home Depot full, but an equivalent to that of magic cards. Um, gosh. <laughs> uh, I don't spend a lot. I've always been a saver. But, you know, after a year or so of just constantly saving and not buying anything extra or, you know, anything super brand name or anything like that, man, it feels so fucking good to spend. It doesn't matter if it's on, like shit like that or if it's on you know some new clothes that I need to get because I've worn the fuck out the others or you know maybe a couple of games or something like that but fuck oh it is hard not to just be like more more give me all of it everything I want everything oh fuck still sore <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> Those were from that fucking cowboy reading. <laughs> uh, worth it, though. Like I said, absolutely worth it. Anyway, I have been rambling on far too long about bullshit that you needed to know nothing about. <laughs> but hopefully, uh, in that process, you have fallen asleep or have been able to calm down from whatever anxiety or other things you may have going on in your head at the speed of light constantly so if either of those two have been anything that you've experienced but i'm glad that i was able to help you relax i really want to do markiplier's outro but i also don't want markiplier to come after me so <laughs> uh, like he even knows this channel exists <laughs> uh anyway I hope you all have a good day or a good night, whatever side of the world you're on. Remember, we're all on one side, the human side.